We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Dies bind fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <sighs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you with me? I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. I know. You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. For Esther. And Tia, she took her fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. 